What's going on, people? In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing. I am Jorge Lancising now. We break it down, baby. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Super excited. Today is going to be the first unboxing that I'm going to be doing in the channel. And I'm not sure that this is going to be the setup, but who knows? Let me go in the comment section down below if you like this. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all those cool things that we like to do on YouTube, huh? Okay, so today we have this. Huh. I'm not sure if I put it in the title, but... Uh, we have a very, very special guitar, as you can tell. I ordered this one from Amazon, and... Uh, judging by this and another guitar that I bought on Amazon in the past, um, yeah, they are basically pretty rough with it. Like, I see, like, there's a little bit of a ding here on the box, and this is not double boxed, so let's just hope everything is fine in here. And, you know, it's just taped out and whatever. It's it's very, very whatever. It, it's, there's nothing great about this box. So I would say maybe if you're buying, like, a very expensive guitar, uh, I would buy it somewhere else. <laughs> not to talk smack on any sellers in Amazon, but I just noticed that there's a little bit of less care. Let's call it that. Because when I bought my Stratocaster, which video I have right here, so go watch it. Um, yeah, it came like double boxed and like super perfectly like isolated, like it, it wouldn't bounce in the bottom or in the top or anything like that. The actual box, this box would be inside another box and it wouldn't move any other way. So I thought that was pretty cool. This, I don't think is pretty cool, but Whatever. So let's just get to it. Okay, I have my trusty knife right here. Let me make sure that I'm always on the shot. And I have this friend right here. Hey, what's up? So we can always get a cool shot of what's happening here. So let's start by cutting this tape. Fairly thick tape. What? Okay. Here's that. Okay. So there's not a not like a huge reveal or anything right now. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, like I say, nothing special. <laughs> a little bit of bubble wrap, just like thrown in there in the box, right? Anyway. And if we look closer, SE by PRS. So you already know there's a good guitar in here, right? Okay, okay. So you know why I'm excited. Okay, just checking, just checking. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open it in front. Okay, okay. I'm excited now. I just don't even know what to say. Okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's got a piece of whatever foam, let's call it that. Holding the headstock, which is good. And now... Uh, oof. Oh. Yep, there we have it. PRS Custom 2408. Vintage Sunburst is the color, I think. Or Vintage Cherry Sunburst, I would say. I don't know, whatever. Great. Wow, this is a big surprise because when you buy it in Amazon, you have no clue what the top is gonna look like. And in this case, I think, even though it's a veneer, <laughs> Got a pretty nice looking top, I think. Yeah, especially right here. Yeah, you just have to let the light hit it just right. Oh yeah, right here. Ooh, in my perspective. So you guys have it. Let me sit down. See how we feel. I have a trusty pick right here. Here we go. Thank you. 
very uh, in tune. Great. It's just great. I'll probably lower the action a little bit, but it's great. I mean, I'll have to plug it in and see how it sounds. Which for that thing, you may definitely like and subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a video when I'm gonna be going in depth on this guitar and see what I can tell you guys about. And we're gonna listen to some examples about how it sounds. But so far, first impressions as excited as I am and we know that when we're very excited we tend to overlook a lot of stuff <laughs> but right now pff, crazy it looks great I don't know the top sometimes it looks like very flat and sometimes it just looks like super active I guess that's the problem when you have like a veneer instead of a, a top but still it's good and they have like the mo mother of pearl looking Plastic birds, I think they look sick. Love it. I really do. Maybe if anything, I would say that I don't like the zebra looking pickups. I mean, they're cool, they match the vintage vibe. They're not my favorite, really. Yep, great. First impressions, great. I'm not even gonna talk about prices because prices are just changing every single day I go on the internet. So yeah, it is what it is. It looks great. It feels great. The weight is great. The balance is great. I love the knobs. They're like speed knobs, but they feel really, really good. And I don't know if this is like a, a feature, but the tone knob, if I'm not mistaken, feels a little bit different than the volume knob. I feel like there's a little bit more resistance in the volume knob. So I don't know if that would be a feature, but whatever, that's how it is. Everything feels great. Floating. I really wanted to hear this pickups. I really wanted to hear him. And honestly, wow, I think I got the lottery because it just looks so good. It just looks really good. I think it looks more expensive than it actually is. I'm gonna probably do a little bit of B-roll so you guys can see it a little bit better. You probably already saw it. <laughs> but anyway, it looks great. I love it. The rosewood and the fretboard looks great. No complaints out here. So yeah, stay tuned for the full review of this guitar. Other than that, you know, like you like this video, definitely subscribe, stay warm, stay safe. Go to the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'm out. Woo!